All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off with saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto you. How about Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, and Karkadash? So all praises to the world, cause God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, and in the name of Yahweh, be in the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching, swearing in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaba and a great millstone, Arizona camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. <laughs> and, um, I wanted to go, go on in the camp video. Um, all right, we go out to the normal spot we go out to, and apparently there's some damn uh, Christian parade or walk for Jesus Christ going on, and, and none of these people know the scriptures. They're just saying, God bless, right? They're not even really thinking about what it means to serve the Lord. They don't know. All right, so I'm gonna play a little bit of this and and watch the the, the lack of uh fervency and, and and being a defender for the word goes with these people. God does not permit war unless it is justice. Well, hold on. When you go to Exodus 15:3, it says the Lord is a man of war. So what's going on right now? Listen, God is not someone who supports. So, oh, so we go, bro. Hey, what he's talking about is Jeremiah, and you're talking about us. But Jeremiah, not Jeremiah. Jeremiah is a prophet of the Lord, right? Yeah. So Jeremiah would be back doing the same thing, right? Hey, my man, you got, you got, you got to prove all things, man. When you come up here, no, you got to prove all things. You got to, you got to prove all things. It's okay. Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible? And it always takes a nigga woman to come up. No understanding. She didn't know what they was talking about. to the word god is not the bible doesn't say the lord isn't prejudiced when you really go into the scriptures the lord is actually quite prejudiced right? he chose one people and you gotta put it put other people by this is um this is um where is it at This is 2nd Ezra 3 and 16. It says, And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac thou gave unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose unto thee, and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude. So the Lord put by Esau. He put he put him to the side. You go to uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And it tells you, For that for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh, thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of earth. So that, so that sounds like separatism. That sounds like prejudice. Right? But these people, right? Like the, I want to start off with this scripture, Jeremiah 9. Jeremiah 9 and 3. And it says. It says, and they they bind their tongues, they bend their tongues, like their like their bow for lies, but they are not valiant for the truth. This dude said Jesus didn't speak about prejudice. Yes, he did. The entire concept of salvation is very prejudiced because it's only promised to one people, the Israelites, the chosen of the Lord. And among those people, there's elect. There is an elect that is only promised for until the kingdom of heaven. When they're brought back in in, in uh, childbearing and birth, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil. They know not me, say Yahweh, and, and these people proceed from evil to evil. This woman said, "Is uh, breath right?" 
The nigga woman said, don't waste your breath. Well, the scriptures tell you, you got to beat, beat your cause. Hey, if you had this own strong stance where you had this bunch of people, man, there was at least two, three hundred people, probably three hundred people that walked by. Right. And at a certain point, they, they all start started half of the group started breaking off and coming back. And that's why the police had to step in because they it, it was like the, the police already knew that we were going to be out there. But we didn't know about this whole shit. So when we got there, they were already there waiting. Right. And they saw the group was breaking up to come stand in front of us. And, and lo and behold, <laughs> you know, the whole group started coming back because what this this world, this word draws people, all the fish, even the good and the bad. Right. And they couldn't defend what they believe in. Right. And, and this is this is the this is the GMSAZ camp page. So um, subscribe. Right. Subscribe if you if you can get edified, man. Because brothers be going through a lot. Brothers be going through a lot of precepts. Um, but these people aren't valued for the truth. They 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 don't even see a reason why to go that deep. Because when you try to go deep with them, or you try to even go, <laughs> if you just try to dunk your feet into the water a little bit, they'll they'll they revert back to. Well, well, Jesus loves, and that's the whole doctrine. Well, that's not the whole doctrine. Because these people, Christians, are actually very, very lazy. Right? Very lazy in their stu studies. Extremely lazy. This is Proverbs 25. And uh, 9. It says, Debate thy cause. With thy neighbor himself, and discover no, uh, not a a secret to another. Right. So you're supposed to debate your cause. Well, if, if what you're saying is Jesus, yeah, Lord, and we're telling you that that the Lord is more than love. Well, y'all got to be able to stand on that and debate it. Where's the scriptures at? None. Nobody had any scriptures to quote, and when they did, think that they were quoting scriptures that do add it to the word, which that's a very dangerous thing. Right. This is what happens. When you just listen instead of actually doing a study yourself. Right? But the Lord set up men in these last days that would have the understanding to actually rightly divide the word of truth. First Peter 3. And 15. It says, um, but sanctify your how uh power in your hearts. And be ready always to give answer to every man that's asking you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Right? You got to always be ready. You always got to be studied. Right? The scriptures tell you, righteous man. No, Ruffles, go. Go. Get out. Yeah, here it is. Proverbs 15 and 28 says, The heart of the righteous steady to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. And how many lies, how many, how many uh <coughs> exceptions on the on the scriptures did these Christians bring out? But brothers was going scripture for scripture. Line upon line, precept upon precept as the scripture command, but before them, because it goes against their belief system, they just revert back to, you know, the Lord wouldn't do that. Well, when you go into the scriptures, the Lord <laughs> Sense of war and righteousness, right? It might feel like it might seem like it's unjustified to you, but in the Lord's eyes, it could be justified. All right? This is um Second Peter's one. Second Peter one and ten. It says, "Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence to make thy calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall." Right, and Christians don't like to give give any diligence, man. They just revert back. To, they just revert back to uh. They just revert right back to um. God is. Listen to him. 
But what scripture what? is that? Five different times. Because when you, when you go to Romans 9 and 13, the Lord says he hates Esau. He loves Jacob. What color Jesus was in your Bible? The Bible says that he came as a Israelite. He was born in Nazareth. One more time. One more time. He was born in Nazareth. He's a Nazarene. He was born in Bethlehem. You see, these people are hurt and they think a fist bump. Hey, and brothers, brothers, peaceful trying to get the situation controlled, but they think a fist bump is a victory. Well, where's the diligence? Right, I've I've talking to people that are Christians that I know just through work, and, and and I ask them certain things, and they 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 tell me, it's you just you just go into things more than the normal person. Well, shit. Well, this deals with your salvation. Don't you think you should be doing the same? Right, but ultimately, you seen in that video right here. Um, one second. Let me just melt these two lessons, man, and get into it. Yeah, Jeremiah 8 and 3. As you see in his death is being chosen, right? Jeremiah 8 and 3 says, And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that of them of the by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family which remain in all places whether i i have driven them say you have a host and, and there this this was nothing but but jake <laughs> this is a, a hell of a lot of jake out here there's way more jake than esau out here all right and they rather have this this decrepit view right where in the hell they're they're holding American flags, but America pushes out the most wicked abominations throughout the world. But you know what a problem the Israelites are the problem. How they how they view things is right, and how we do is wrong. How how is that right? Right? Look at I mean, look how many faces you see. All them Jake faces, man, and, and, and half of that line of these Christians that were going with them started drawing back. And trying to come over to us. Right? Standing to fall off. Well, here it is. You, you're going after an idol like Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is a fallacy of the scriptures, how he looked. But they, they every time we bring up how he looked, they say, why does color matter? Well, why in the hell do you call that Jesus? When the Lord looked like a so-called black man, according to the scriptures. That's, that's not right. But people choose the, the death of this world, right? Because they love. Let's get that. This is Jeremiah 5 and 31. It says, The prophets prophesied falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? Our, our people love the lies of this world. Right? Like the Lord said what? Let's get this in the New Testament. Luke uh, 5 and 39, he says, No man also drink it. So like in no man also having drunk old wine straightway desired the new. Desired new. For he said the old is better. Right? So this is that old wine, right? Christianity has been able to go old, right? And we're coming with that new, fresh wine, the, 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 the new batch, the good stuff, right? And these people love the old philosophy of this world. God loves everybody. The Lord doesn't love everybody. The scriptures tell you the Lord loves it none but him to keep it the commandment, Right? And these people don't even know what love is, but they, they pick the ways of death. All right? This is John 5. John 5 and 24, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life 
and he shall uh, not come into con condemnation, but he passeth from death unto life. And this is what it means to have the understanding of the Lord's name, right? To be out there preaching this word in the way we're, we're preaching it, man. We pass on to, from death. And you're seeing them. These people are in the ways of death. Hey, nobody got any scriptures. Nobody has a word out of the scriptures to say or quote. And they're just standing on the premise of, oh, God loves everybody. If the Lord don't. And a brother brought out a valid question. Well, is the Lord loving those people in Ukraine right now? I right, just recently they had a shooting. Uh, where they killed five kids at elementary school. Was the Lord loving on them? Right? The Lord loves and he hates. The Lord puts out punishment. Right? It's a small thing for the Lord to sit here and destroy anyone. Right? It says uh, verse... You know, that, that's good on that. I wanted to get this one. Um, what does it say? It says... um. Get this wide. Okay. Yeah, Matthew 7 and 13 says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that go in there. Right now, Christianity has been a wide gate for a lot of people. The Christianity they've been able to prop up whether or not people are down with homosexuals, right? All type of wicked things that the Lord is against, they've been able to prop up through Christianity. Right now, you got women in, in churches twerking. Right when you when you saw this group of people that walked by, you want to believe how many women was out there, scantily clad, right, ass out, titties out, everything, saying, "Oh, oh, oh Jesus!" Right, gang banging for Jesus is what they was doing. Right. So this that was the wide gate, man. Where to come to the word of the Lord, man? You got to go through straight things, man. Difficult things. Does the scripture tell you he that he that see he that sees it from sin? Right? He that um suffer persecution sees it from sin. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? So you to come to the Lord. For you to come to the Lord, you go through straight things, hard things, difficult things. Right? And those things lead to light. You can read that in the book of Ezra. He said it. If you weren't willing to go through the straight things, how should you get to the wide? It says, but straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So, on our side, 15 brothers, on our side, 300 plus, who, who, who's in the way that leads unto life? You can just, on a, on, on, a, on a small scale, you just look at the numbers. Really, who who's in the way that leads to life? You know? But Christianity is an L, man. Right, but but the Lord created the false prophet as all, as well as the one that's righteous man. Is they all work for the Lord's goal. The blind leading the blind, and a ditch is coming, man, because they're going to be taken into all type of things. So, Lord, one of this is edifying them. Say, call Allah, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kakadah Shalom.